So this is the last video of this tutorial on creating your calendar for 2012. And there were some mistakes, so um, let me show you. The first one is here. When you create these calendars, bring your embellishments a little lower, especially if you're using the cinch. I'm going to show you. I'm going to be using the cinch or even the um, bind it all because it's going to cut some of your embellishments. So this was the only page that that happened to. So that's okay. Everything else, it came out um, where it needed to be. Second mistake was that I went ahead, I was stamping. Actually, let me show you one. Here, 2012. This calendar is for 2013. So the way to fix that is I got these labels and I bought, you know, earlier I showed you how I, um, I got these labels and then I have there's templates that you download and I'm gonna give this journaling stickers these are stickers and I'm gonna give this with um, the calendar so that way they can put um, sayings and stickers on the photograph but you can also use it to fix mistakes so I took my um, date stamp and I stamped 13 and then I went ahead and cut it out. So I took my scissors and just simply cut just a, the strip out, like you see here. So you cut it out, and I already started one. Then you take it, once you cut it out, you're going to go ahead and lay that on top. And you don't even see it. So that's how you fix that mistake. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was because you're probably wondering, like in here, why am I putting that there? Okay. These are actually, let me show you. These are like vellum or transparency stickers. It has a double adhesive. So basically I just put it there so that way she can peel it and then place it on the picture. So that's why I put it there. It's just temporarily. It's temporary. Once she puts her picture down, she wants. I want her to put that sticker on the picture if she chooses to do so. She don't have to. And then what I want to um, show you is how nice these transparency adheres to the paper. So see how it says. You can see a little bit underneath and um, you can also read the same. So that's what my intention is with these stickers. So I went ahead and punched everything out but before I do that I want to show you because I'm using the sitch. So I want to show you a little bit how to use the sitch. Okay. So this is a cinch and the instructions are very easy down here so it slides in and out so you got to always when you first start um, when you first start making your holes on your project make sure it's all the way in like there and then you're gonna put your project and you're gonna place it against this barrier here so make sure it's all the way in. Place it against the barrier. Make sure all your pegs are in, like you see there. And then push down. And it makes the perfect holes. Next thing is we need to continue on here, but the cinch has great instructions on it. If you see here, it tells you that that, part, that paper is 8. Okay, it's an 8 by eight so it tells you to pull peg four so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna pull peg four if my project was 10 inches then it, I would have pulled peg eight when I was ready to stand the second when I was able ready to do my second holes or my second set of holes so when you do your first set of holes you make sure all the pegs are in when you do your second set of holes, look at your instructions. And for eight, I need to pull number four, which I did there. Then you're going to pull this 
all the way out until it stops and you're going to place your project against the barrier there and then you're going to pull it in but before you push down there's this little thing right here um, which you're going to match that to the hole so you're going to make sure it gets inserted in, into the hole okay so see how it's inserted into the hole then make sure number four is pulled and then and there you have it you got perfect holes I actually I have this and I have a bind it all I prefer the cinch over the bind it all because it's very simple to use um, it's very simple to kind of pull the pegs and you can you can put thick material in it however even though you can put thick material in it um, I wasn't able to put this didn't fit so when I try to use put it in here it didn't feed all the way through it was just too thick so to do this project to do this so I'm going to show you how to do how to make holes on something that it's a little thicker than what your stitch can handle you're gonna take so what I do is I take my page so this will be my um, kind of my 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 guide and then I'm gonna just put it right against corner to corner and just make sure it's flush right to the top of my um, my cover and then I'm gonna make circles on the paper I mean on the on the card cardboard and as you can see here I already did that on this one it has holes then I'm gonna take my um, we are memory hole puncher and this will punch through anything and I'm using the the large hole and then I'm gonna make sure that I line up I'm gonna line up my hole to I can see the the my hole there and then I'm gonna punch and I'll keep doing that until I punch all the way down so I'm gonna keep doing that and then I'll be back and we'll put the project together okay now I have everything punched out so the next thing I'm gonna do is make sure I'm gonna I'm gonna use a spiral um, we are memory um, bind so it's the spiral one that I'm using And I'm just going to make sure everything lines up. Make sure I have the dates. Okay, October, November. Okay, so now I'm just going to make sure I put them all together. And my hole are matching. Yep. And you may want to use some clips. So I'm going to use some of my clips here. Let me go ahead and get another clip. That one broke. Okay. So 
So now I got two clips and my holes as you can see you can see all the way through through my holes. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to place it here. Now you can cut this a little small. I cut it a 10 um, I think it was 10 and a half by 10 and a half but you can cut it 10 and a half and then by 8 but I did it a little bigger just in case if I create another calendar next year because when I use a spiral you can easily take it in and out take it on and off um, so just want to make sure I think I'm going to start Gonna start the second one in. So you're gonna take and you start from the right, take your project, so you're gonna put, feed it into the first two, and take your project. And then feed it through the next one. And see how it comes through. Just got to play with it. And that's why it helps to have something that keeps these papers together. And I asked you as you thread it through, it's getting a little easier. And you can buy these spiral binds on the on the internet. Haven't seen them in the um, office depot or anything like that. I mean, um, or staples. But you can buy this on an internet, and remember the bind it all is a two to one pitch, which means there's two holes per inch, so two to one pitch. So as long as when you go on the internet and you buy the binding system that says two and one, two to one, you'll be fine. Um, so that that's pretty much what you need to do. And some companies sell, you have to buy like a hundred. Or if you buy it on Amazon, you just buy the ones that um, we are memory sells. And um, they're pretty reasonable, but you don't get that many. Some, you keep rolling it over. Now I like the spy uh, the other thing the other benefit about having spirals is that I can change my projects, especially for these calendar next year when I create a new one. Um, then you can easily remove this one and thread the next calendar. Almost done.
Okay. So there. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to, you don't want this um, coming out of the project or out of your calendar as they use it. So you're going to take a needle nose plier and you're going to go up and out. You see how I kind of did it there, up and out. Like that. Do the same thing over here. You're going to go up and out. Like that. Okay. And there you have it. Let me bring the camera up. So this is my calendar. And see, it's be e it's going to be easy for them to kind of, whoever I'm going to give this, you can easily just flip the page, put the new picture, and makes a perfect gift for anyone. And see, I don't even have to hold it. It stays put. And it's very simple to do. So, I hope you like this project. Hope you got some ideas of some Christmas presents that you can give to a friend or to a co-worker or to anybody. And um, it's easy to mail. Just make, you know, make sure you push it down. And then you can mail it like that. Okay. Or you can hand deliver. Okay, I hope you like this project and thank you for watching. Bye.